Strange orange, but orange belts. Hey, it's Master Grogan. Hope you're doing a great job at home with your manners and discipline and respect. Well, what have I got here? The training log sheet. And it's your training log sheet that some of you that came to class last night, you know, you got credit for attending class last night. Well, what I'm doing here, I'm gonna film your entire green tip curriculum for the orange belts, the eighth and seventh cups that I want you to work on at home at least two times this week, two more times this week. And then next week, at least another two times as well. So get your train log sheet, make sure you write those down. This month, it's the green tip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through every requirement on the uh, eighth and seventh cup, the orange belt class, the green tip requirements. And we start off with, for the eighth cups, I want you to do your requirements and also push yourself a little bit and do the seventh cup requirements. Seventh cups, I want you to do yours and then go back and review the eighth cup just to make sure you've got that solid foundation because it doesn't uh, hurt at all to continuously review to get better and better and better at previous material. So it starts off with five push-ups and five sit-ups for the eighth cups and the seventh cups, which are the orange belts with the white stripe, it's 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups. So I'm gonna encourage even the eighth cups to do instead of just five, do 10. And I'll show you how we do those. Lay it down right here. The push-ups, as we know, we have our back straight. We don't have our rear end in the air. We don't have our hips on the floor. We've got our back straight. And we do our push-ups, we count in Korean, and we go all the way down. We don't just kind of short arm it. Down, up, and that would be one. We're gonna do 10. Hana, dual, set, net, dasit, yosin, ilga, yoro, aho, yo. Now you go at your own pace. Some of you will go faster than that, that's fine, but I don't want just sloppy push-ups. I want good push-ups where you're down and all the way back up, okay? And if you've knocked out 10, you feel like doing 10 more, knock out 10 more. Our sit-ups, and just a reminder, with our sit-ups, we don't put our hands behind our neck here. The reason for that, a lot of times with kids and even adults, we do more of pulling on our neck and our head than we actually do work on our stomach muscles, our ab muscles. So we're here, a lot of times kids are pulling and pulling and pulling and nothing happens. We do what's called spear sit-ups, which are just like a spear, and we sit up and go past our toes. So not only are we getting a good crunch on the stomach muscles, the abs, we're getting a little bit of stretch in our, our back as well, which is a win-win. So just like that, once again, we count the Korean. So, hana, dual, set, neck, that's it, yose, Ilga, Yoro, Aho, and Yo. Good, and there's our 10 sit ups. And once again, I'm gonna knock out 10 more, go right ahead. From there, and following right along on the training log sheet, we've got our uh, all previous self defense, and then our X block, and then we do the sidestep against the tack, and then moving forward for the seventh cups, we've got hook and straight punch defense. So just a review, and I'll put the training log sheet in here. Just a review of our previous self-defense, we worked on our guard stance using our tiger eyes and lion voice. Tiger eyes looking with intensity, lion voice urgh, being authoritative with our voice. Like right now, I'm talking where you can hear me in a confident manner. I'm not saying, okay, our next technique is, one, I'm not using tiger eyes when I do that. I'm certainly not using a lion's voice. Our guard stance, as a reminder, our arms are not out here like Frankenstein, because it's kind of hard to move, and they're not back here like T-Rex, because we can't defend ourselves in this position, even with our X block, we're here. And I'll show you that in a little bit here. Guard stance, one leg is slightly behind the other, hands are up, nice and relaxed. And then our X defense, just like it sounds, X block, right here. Not here where I can't see, not down here where I can't defend, I'm looking right through here. That's our best defense against any kind of straight or circular attack, because of the angle, deflects things off to the side. So one of the things we do is moving out of the way of the attack. We envision that the attack is coming and if we're standing on the tracks, we're getting run over. So we guard stance, move out of the way. Guard stance, make our X's and move out of the way. Notice I'm moving out of the way of the attack. We'll demonstrate that with a partner in just a minute here. Other ones we defended against were the wrist grab. And a reminder of the wrist grab, we're stepping in and pulling up with the wrist grab. Then we're doing our combo as a finish. Aya! Palm strike, solar plexus, chin, chin, Aya! knee to finish. And the arm attack, the arm grab, it's like they're grabbing an arm, step in, Aya! palm strike, 
chin, chin, with the knee. Let's see, what else? Uh, you know what, I think it's time for a partner. So, Instructor Grogan, can I borrow you, sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So as a review, he's here, he's giving me a hard time, I go to my guard stance. My hands are up just like this, one leg is slightly back, I got my tiger eyes and my lion voice. I'm here, calm down, calm down. But my arms are out here in a confident manner. They're not Frankenstein locked out because then I can't move very well. And they certainly aren't T-Rex because then I can't defend very well. We're gonna have a nice balance in between. So he's here and um, if he were to come and try and grab me, grab my hair or this or that, go ahead. I've got, boom, I've done my X and look what I've done. I'll try and take it as slow as I can here. I've moved out of the way with my X block. Now here's the truth. If I do my X block properly, I'm here, go ahead, boom. It deflects it off anyway, because when he hits, my X goes with it and directs it over. And that's effective. But I believe in, look, if you're not even there, maybe if you do your, you, you, you don't do your X block properly, you got your T-Rex arms. I'm here, the block isn't gonna work, but if I move out of the way, I've avoided most of the attack. I believe in doubling up. If you're not there, you're not gonna get hit, but let's make sure you got our hands up as protection as well. So that's why we do both of those like that, moving out of the way. Another thing, if he's back and maybe he's, he's running at me or walking at me, if I stay here, even if I do my X block, ah, he just ran over me. Or more or less, I'm just standing here. Stop, 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 stop. I'm still in the, on the tracks, I'm getting run over. But even if my X block was bad, which hopefully it's not, he's coming, stop, 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 and I move out of the way, he goes on by. Now, the real bonus is when you do them both right. So I'm saying, hey, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. Boom, I deflect him on by. Yeah, now if they're really running at you, boy, they're gonna be off balance and probably stumble and fall. And it's not like we're wanting to hurt them, but if they're wanting to hurt us, we need to get out of the way and make sure that they're far enough away from us that they're not gonna come back and get, try and hurt us again. So that's what we want to work on. One, getting out of the way, but then secondary, get that X block up, okay? So with the X block, for the advanced students, the seventh cups, you're gonna to have to do a defense against the straight punch and then also a hook punch. So the straight punch, we pretty much already, especially in the orange belt class, all I want them to work on is their hands are up and they go to punch, boom, I deflected it to the side, just like that. And it doesn't matter what hand they come with, hey, 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 boom. I deflect to the side, and it really doesn't matter which side I go to. Like that time I went there, I always like the more advanced students to get to the outside, and the reason for that is he goes to punch, boom, I'm on the outside. One, it's kind of hard for him to turn and get me. I'm in position to do my defensive motions. But if I happen to go to the inside, if he throws it, boom, that's okay too. At least I've defended, but I just gotta kind of worry about this hand Go ahead, Boom, I've gotta do an X block to the other side. So you do one on the outside, but the number one thing on that is get out of the way of the attack and deflect it with your X block and put yourself in the best position. Now parents, for the beginners and the orange belts, it's all about learning uh, and, and working on these things, just like learning the ABCs. And the better they get at it in the green belt class, we get a little more aggressive. Matter of fact, this was something that we just eh, fairly recently moved from the green belt class to actually start teaching at the orange belt class. And it's the hook defense. And we've got, because uh, uh, well, to be honest with you, the kids were doing so good with the straight punch and the getting out of the way, it's like, man, we need to challenge them a little bit more. And that's something we do often. We look at the curriculum and see where there is we can, uh, maybe if it's too much too soon, we back it off a little bit. If they're really getting it, we'll add a little bit more to it just to keep challenging the students to be better. So on the hook defenses, we, we love using these pads. Now, if you've got these at home, great. If you don't, no big deal. You can just use your hands uh, to come across uh, to, to help the kiddos. Now, here's the thing. Yes, we want them to learn properly, but we don't want them to get so scared at an early rank that they power down like this. So it's in progressionary steps. An example is this. In the red belt class, this is how we come with these hook things. He's gonna wail at me. Hey man, calm down, calm down. Boom, 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 boom. And side to side, all I'm doing is my X blocks turning side to side to keep it out. And what I'm doing is I'm not going back. Now, would that be too much for an orange belt? Absolutely. Would that be too much for some green belts? Probably. So the orange belt class, we start off nice and slow here. Make sure they got their, their uh, um, 
defensive posture and make sure when the attack comes, boom, they're doing their X. The other one, boom, they're doing their X. So we're working on them turning the body and getting the X up. So slowly but surely they're getting to that. And the, the whole goal is not this. I want you to watch this, uh, students and parents. I, I'm here like this and he does the things. Not falling backwards. Here come. Because then they're going to be on out running. I'm eventually going to trip and fall over. We want them to stand their ground with that. But I can't emphasize enough, go slow and steady. As you see we do in the class, that's all for a reason. It's for a purpose of helping build their confidence up and making sure they get the defenses up. So like I said, even if you don't have the hand targets, the hand targets are, are kind of cool because one can smack the kids with, uh, with a pad. But uh, if you don't have the hand targets, it's definitely okay to just uh, make sure they got their guard stance up and he comes around, just open hands, go ahead, boom, boom, and working on your defenses that way. Does that sound good? And on the straight punch defense, we've shown you that. Take your time and work on these things and then have your kids practice these in, in what well, I call it in the air. So we're here like this, uh, because of Grogan and I will both do it here. We're like this, our guard stance, work on the X's, work on the X and turn, work on the X and turn, Good, work on those over and over again and then film them doing that. Either take pictures or videotape it and let them watch that because they're gonna think in their mind that they're doing it great and their hands are here or their hands are here or they're not turning out of the way. I mean, we, we see it all the time, but video and, and uh, picture does not lie. So take a picture of that, videotape it and help them learn from uh, not only from what we're showing you, but from seeing themselves actually do the technique as well. Good. So I think the last thing is probably uh, uh, the demonstration of the palm strike. We This uh, month, the green tip month, we on the defenses, um, we, we emphasize the palm strike. Now, just like as a tiger or a beginner, we're not playing patty cake with our fingers. We're hitting with the palm heel and driving through. And it's not just the arm. Watch my body here. I'm turning into that thing. Now, you always want to hold it about solar plexus high because that's where we want that first palm strike to go. Now, if you don't have a hand target, that's okay. Um, you could actually use a pillow, which is cool, or we all get shipments all the time from Amazon. Use an Amazon box and have them break through that thing. And that's a lot of fun for us adults too. But uh, make sure they don't use just the one hand that they're good at. Make sure they also practice with the other hand that maybe they're not so good at. And I always recommend, yeah, you could do five, but man, why not do 10? It's just five more and you get the extra practice in. Sound good? Good. And I think the last review would be that of the wrist grab and uh, the arm grab. So the wrist grab, just a reminder, this is a review from the beginner's rank. We don't go against the fingers or the thumb and I don't try and pull this way because I envision he's stronger than I am. And if he pulls back, oh man, <laughs> I'm done. So we envision that the attacker is always bigger, meaner, stronger, faster, and uglier. Yeah, I know the uglier thing's funny, but I say that so kids, will, if they forget everything else, at least they'll remember that. So he's got a hold of me here. I want to practice with everything I've got. And once again, my dads, if you're grabbing a hold of the kiddos here, we want to build their confidence up and then slowly but surely start grabbing harder and harder. We don't want to death grip them when they're still trying to learn the technique because that's going to crush their confidence. So make sure they do the technique right. And it's never pulling back. It's stepping in and pulling up, okay? And when we pull up here just like that, I'm up, palm strike, aya! Palm strike, palm strike, aya! With the knee. Now, I always talk about this, I have the instructors talk about this in this class. I'd rather them go slow and steady right now to hit the target areas than do this. And this, we see this a lot. Aya! And it's not a bunch of slop. That's not gonna do any good. My goal is one, they never ever have to uh, do anything to physically defend themselves because they're aware of their surroundings. But if somebody grabs them, either a stranger trying to you know, take them away or a kid on the playground is trying to hurt them, they need to be able to do what they do and do it to the best of their abilities. And once again, I can't reiterate this point enough, I'm never encouraging a kid to go out and hit somebody else. That is a no-no, okay? But if a child, a student, or an adult puts their hands on your kid, that is no longer bullying, that's assault. And they are with, well within their rights of the law, maybe not the school law, but the law to physically defend themselves. And I'm not saying you beat the tar out of them, but that's why we have the open hand strike to the stomach, the solar plexus, as our first uh, defensive attack. So they've grabbed, I'm pulling out of this thing, this person's trying to grab or hurt me again. Aya! That first palm strike. These are just extras. Aya! But they're there. Next one, the arm grab. Now the arm grab, I'm not going against 
I think there's a barrier, a wall here. I'm not going that way. I'm turning in. So I'm going to, if you can see, oh, hand this way. obviously that's the open side of his hand. This is the closed side. And if I try and go this way, and I'll tell you, when you get a little more advanced running, we've got all kinds of cool arm bars and joint locks and everything else. But for this rank right now, it's pull out of that thing with everything I've got, just like I did there. I didn't go slow. Even going slow, I can't get out of it, right? I whip that thing up as hard as I can. Then what do I do? That first palm strike. Strike, strike. And once again, have the kids go slow, not fast and sloppy, because that's uh, what we were talking about, Austin. Slop leads to usually getting hurt, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then once again, I hope they never have to physically defend themselves. But if they do, I want them, <laughs> you know, and what I mean by that is, say he's grabbed my arm and I pull out of it and I go, stop. Well, all I'm going to do now is enrage this guy. He grabbed me to hurt me for a reason. And all I did was give a half-hearted stop push with no tiger eyes and lion voice and no effort. Now he's going to pop me really good because now I have hit him. I'm saying, I don't want him hitting somebody, but if they have to, with everything they've got. <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks right, for doing your thing. You got it. Got it all. All right. Thank you very much, Orange Belts and parents. Uh, once again, Orange Belts, I want you doing this at least two more times this week. Track it on your training log sheet. And then parents, videotape them and uh, post it on your page. Post it on our members' page. If you post it on your page, tag us so we can actually see. And, of course, if you have any comments or thoughts or maybe you're having trouble with some of the training techniques, Reach out to us, we're here to help you and we greatly appreciate you being a part of the academy. It doesn't matter what I know and how many years I've been teaching, it doesn't matter what our team knows, if we didn't have wonderful, loyal, supportive families like you, we wouldn't be able to share these messages with you and share it with the world to help our kids live a happier, healthier, safer life and make our society a better place to live for all of us. And that's kind of our mission, our purpose and our goal. Thank you so very much. As a reminder, uh, this is your curriculum-based video. This is what you'll be working on for the next couple weeks in order to earn that tip strike. Every day, I wanna throw out a 10 to 15 minute kind of training video. Now, with the training videos, I'm just gonna do one video. It's gonna go out to everybody. So some of those techniques are gonna be extremely challenging, but I want you to do them anyway. Why? Because I wanna push you outside your comfort zone and I'm gonna show you some stuff in some of the videos that the black belts are doing. How cool is that? As an orange belt, you can do black belt material. Wow. And just like anything else, do your best. All right, folks. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. We'll chat with you real soon.